Walk around the compound, see some tigers. There she is, the most ferocious animal that we have here on the facility. I have to move so incredibly slow so as to not trigger her vicious kill instincts, her kill stinks. Oh my gosh. Don't breathe too, too much, don't breathe. Oh, 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 oh gosh. Oh, I can't believe I'm getting this. I'm, I'm, Hi. Hi, Bags. Hi, Bags. Hey. Hi, little one. Pat, 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 pat. See, in order to, you gotta be, you gotta be a trained papper. You gotta, you gotta train papping. A lot of actually, like cats and dogs, um, they like it, but you got to be able to like, you know, target and, and, and change up your style individually for different types of animals. I mean, not every animal is going to, uh, they're, they're, they're the level and degree and consistency and, uh, um, power that you put behind your paps has to be different for each, each individual, uh, animal. That's a, that's an important kind of thing. What? She's just like more paps. More paps, more paps, please. So you have to, you have to have like, a, there's like a curvature. There's like a curvature, it's almost like a cup. And you're actually, yeah. Whoa, hey, don't you? Jeez. Uh, I know people, because of like, oh, she really likes it. And it's like, no, Baggy, you have to understand that Baggy's got kind of like a weird, like, uh, uh, if she was like a person, she would probably be one of those, uh, whips and chains madams. <laughs> you know? Hi. Hi, baby. How are you? Yeah. I know. You just get so stimulated that all of a sudden you just gotta be crazy. You just gotta go crazy. Hi, girls. Hi, ladies. But yeah, if you want to like, if you want to try papping on your uh, on your house meow or your house wolf, what or your tiger? Yeah, you just don't go all haul off and just start just smacking them. <laughs> it's, not, it's yeah, you gotta you gotta achieve maximum pappage. There's an art to it, and really, what it is that you're doing is. And this is what, what Heidi has uh, informed me, is that you're, in essence, simulating like Mama's heartbeat from when they were back in the room. So it can, if done properly, hi, Sass, a proper pap can conjure prenatal memories. Yeah. Proper papping procures prenatal premonitions. Hmm. Oh, look at that alliteration. Did you write that down before? The uh uh no, this is how fast. This is how fast this brain works. Yeah, oh yeah. Just pulling these gems out of the ether. Right out of the ether. Look at you know little gumdrops and candy canes and stuff like that on your blanket. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That is very much so a not impressed face. Maximum not impressiveness. Not impre not impressive pressedness. Whatever. What abs. Hello all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi, how you doing? Hey, what's up? I'm back. Hi, Sass. Yeah. What? Oh my goodness. 
I know, it's Carrie Lynn, she's over there walking around. It's probably time for afternoon feeding. Oh my goodness. The excitement is palpable. That's another P word. Oh, that's the theme of today's cast. We're gonna just do P, we're just gonna do P words. And then watch as I forget that that's supposed to be the theme of the cast and then I don't do it anymore and I don't even make any mention of it. That's how that works. Ezzy, Ezzy. Ezzy, choo-choo. Ezzy, choo-choo. Hi. Blah. Blah, 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 blah. All right. I'll come back. I gotta do the circle around up here. Oh my gosh. Hey there, bud. Hi, bud. Hello, Mr. Man. Uh-oh. Yeah, is it that time? Yeah, all the leopards are kind of... Oh, and there's there's Raven. So it seems like all the leopards are... Knowing that it's kind of close to that afternoon feed time. That's why it seems like they're all just getting all excited. And, of course, they're turning their energy and attention that way. They're smart. They're smart. Smart animals. I'm back here in the compound. After being gone for a few weeks. Got to be around the kitties again. They don't care. <laughs> they, it is not really registered. Actually, I take that back. Some of the, when I was walking around, I was I was plucking out a bunch of weeds some of the uh, dead dead weeds some of the dead bushes from the lower section of the compound because that's already been done here in the upper section of the compound so I was walking around for a good chunk of time pulling out some of those big dead weeds and of course I hadn't been in the compound for a, a, a good stretch of time a good period so go look stretch <laughs> see Right on cue. Look at that, Malik. Look at that pretty girl. Nice. But yeah, been out of the compound for a good chunk of time. It's not like I walk back into the compound and I have to, I have to go around and say hello to every single kitty cat. It's like, no, I, you know, get home late last night and early this morning, well not early, but this morning make coffee and uh, you know, play a couple of play a couple of the video games and whatnot. And you know, later on I actually got up and you know went outside. Of course after Heidi was just like, What are you gonna are you doing anything today? What are you doing? Oh my gosh, why did I marry you? All you wanna do is just slough around all the time. No, she didn't <laughs> she didn't uh, Lazy, lazy, lazy. How could I have ever married such a lazy, lazy man? It's true. She always says that to me. It's very hurtful. It seems like my camera is more wobbly than normal. So I wonder if maybe one of the settings inadvertently got switched off, like one of the camera stabilization settings. I don't know. But then again, maybe it's just because I've been so far out of the loop. Man, have I forgotten how to film? Have I forgotten how to cast? Why don't I just lay down and, and just be over with it? Uh, oh, hi. <laughs> oh, I got someone. I got someone. Didn't get Noe. Got you, though. Wasn't paying attention to you. Hmm. They're working together. Ugh. Clever. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Nope. It did get Noe. Oh, a little bit of red light, green light thing going on. Let's see if we can... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah! Ha, 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 ha! Hi. Noe, Noe, Noe. Oh, blow, 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 blow. My... Mm. 
Hi, baby. Hi, sugar pie. Oh my goodness, look at you. Look at you, pretty girl. Pretty girl. Pretty girl. Yeah. She's received quite a few paps from me over the years, well, years ago. But lots of paps when she was widow, when she was a widow baby living in the house. And then she got big enough to start rearranging furniture. And then it's like, probably need to put you outside. Yeah, true story. That is how that happened. <laughs> yeah. You know, that was one of those kind of things where, and I don't know how many, I've, I've, said, I've told this before, I don't know how many people have, are here, or it's one of those things also where uh, you get new folks who, you know, bears repeating, but there was one day where Heidi, she just went outside to do something. She was only gone for, I don't know, like five or ten minutes, and she just left Noe inside, and then she came back in, and then all of a sudden, like, the couch had been moved all the way across our den. And then uh, she's just like, what the heck? And Noe, like, bloop, like, pokes her head up over the back of the couch, and she's just like, she is like, uh-uh, <laughs> this is not, no! Oh my gosh, it's not your turn. And of course, Heidi is just like, yeah, this isn't going to work. You've got to go outside. So, no, we got banished to, because we hadn't, there was an auxiliary little kind of, I think that, yeah, it was like an auxiliary little kind of enclosure system right next to the house. And then that was, that started the shift towards Noe uh, being an outside cat. Gosh, I remember there was... There was a good, uh, I can't remember how many weeks, or maybe it was a month or two or something like that, where there was like a, a big ritual where Noe would be inside the house, and then she'd be in her, she'd be in her bed, and it was really great, and she was enjoying herself. Hi, Ren. What? What? What, 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 what? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you got the vapors. Is this one of those vapors things? Huh? Hmm? I'm flattered, but, uh, you know, we're, I don't think that we're compatible. We're not even the same species. We're not even like, like the same, like, like genus. Oh, Hi. Oh. Hello. Whoa. Hello. Whoa. Ah, yeah, no. <laughs> Ah, yes, your moos are a salve for the weary soul. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No, 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 Luca, no, 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 no. Oh, no, he was halfway through doing something exceptionally cute. And then he aborted. He aborted the cuteness. Yeah, I know. Only a moo can bring me out of the sorrow. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> no, but there was a time when, yeah, no, he would be in our bed and a big girl. And, uh,. We would have to take her outside and put her in her little kind of auxiliary outdoor enclosium. And she'd be like, uh-uh. She's like, no, I'd rather stay in the bed. I'm like, no, you have to go outside. She's like, I'd rather stay in the bed. And then, like, we're looking at her like, okay, we're at an impasse. <laughs> Obviously, it hasn't been really established or communicated well enough to you that uh, you need to go outside. Hi. Ezzy. Hi, Choo Choo. Hi, Choo Choo. And then Noe, of course, would say, like, no, it hasn't been communicated to you well enough that I am not leaving this bed. So there would be, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't even tell you how many times I'd have to where there was like the we, Heidi and I would tag team this whole this maneuver basically where Heidi would distract Noe 
Heidi would have to distract Noe. And then be the and then be the doorman. While I basically just like tackled her. <laughs> while I basically tackled her. And then like uh, uh, like slumped her like and she was still little enough to where I could pick her up, but I mean she was big. But I would like slump her over my shoulder and then I would like tuck in as like tight as I could into her into her armpit and like her neck. So she would like be doing her legs like straight like ah, ah, she'd be doing that thing. She would be, be just going nuts. I don't want to leave the bed. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. Just having an absolute temper tantrum. And the, uh, again, uh, you have to have to know what you're what you're doing with that one. So like tucking tucking my my head like deep into her neck so that she's basically like ah, 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 ah. she's trying to bite anything and. <laughs> And then I, I'm basically, I've got this like angry sack of potatoes, this very, very, very angry and heavy sack of potatoes. And then I have to run through my house as Heidi is just opening, like flinging doors open. <laughs> as Heidi's flinging doors open and I'm like, I'm trotting, I'm trotting through my house with an angry bitey sack of potatoes. Just no, 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 no. Hi, hi Munch. Hi. Hi, Munch, Munch, Munch. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetheart. Hey, sweet pie. I don't know. I don't know. He's got... He's... He's got the squirreliness. He's got the squirreliness. And that's another one of those squeaky gates. And then some people are just like... You know, I should get some WD-40 for that. And... Again, and people... Like, this is great because I've commented so much on certain things that I don't really ever have to when people have like just regular old questions and and whatnot that have been addressed by me numerous times in the past and people hi hi firebug <laughs> like regular questions that have already been addressed by me people will then just kind of address themselves in the comment section and it's really great it's very convenient it's nice it's nice to have that But there was like someone like, oh my gosh, you should like oil all those gates. Why are, why are they so squeaky? And then someone come in like, well, it's basically kind of like a low rent alarm system, which is, is yeah, for the most part, that's, that's true. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and it's not like, I guess like an alarm, it's not so much to see like intruders, kind of, but it's also just to kind of like understand like the goings on. To understand like, okay, there's activity and there's things happening. It's, it's. Yes, sure. I, I suppose it would be beneficial if you have people who are trying to, you know, uh, uh, move about the compound and and be a be a near do well, you know, snidely whiplash, putting a tiger onto, uh, tying him up and putting him on a train track or something. Um, but it's more just for kind of a a tool, I guess it's like a tool of situational awareness. So that if you're out in the compound, you know where things are happening. You just know like which gates are being opened. It just gives you that kind of three-dimensional kind of picture. It helps to, it helps to give you a little bit more uh, uh, intel, I guess. Hi. Ooh, everyone's just very snuffly today. Everyone's very snuffly. So many snuffle bugs. Snuffly kitties. Snuffly kitties. Look at all these snuffle bugs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she's trying to bite him. Allie, come on along. She's like, I won't bite your head. And then Archie's just like, here's my balls. <laughs> oh, she's got that fat lump. She's had that for years. It's actually a. a it is a fatty lump. Yeah. Just in case, because then, of course, people say like, "Hey, you know, at uh, uh, at, at approximately uh, 19 minutes and 42 seconds, uh, there was a a distended growth on uh, on Allie's." Uh, Port side posterior. Ah, more P words. 
<laughs> Which is nautical terms for left butt cheek. So I have to, you know, I, I hear, I see stuff like that and then I, you know, but with, with the understanding, I guess, of how things like that will usually just play out, I'm trying to head it off at the pass. If I see something on the, on the screen, well, I got to assume that other people are going to see that because this, they're seeing what I'm seeing, if so facto. I'll just explain it before people have to ask questions about it. You, you dig? I'll give you a shovel so you can, so you can dig. Or like, you hear what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying? Actually, I'm deaf. So no, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Ugh. You're so gross. Do you know just how disgusting you are? And how, like, no one likes you. I mean, no one. No one. Not a single person. <laughs> you know, I did a... I did an analysis of, uh, like, the... the donations that come into the facility. Like, pre-slayed and post-slayed, and there's some significant uh, and disturbing trends. Yeah. Yeah, catastrophic drop. Uh, some would say, some would say mete meteoric. A meteoric drop. In, uh, yeah, facility donations. So, you know what? Uh, with that, we may have to just, uh, we may have to let you go, bud. We may have to let you, may have to let you go. We may have to give you a pink slip. You know, give him his walking papers. <laughs> it would be kind of funny to have like a, you know, like in a corporate setting, like performance evaluations for each of the cats. Do it kind of real office space kind of setting you know Slade what would you say you do here <laughs> oh it's such a fantastic movie oh that's such a fantastic movie and it's also one of the movies that makes me realize that I'm getting older because you know, that it was, the movie came out in 1999, and I was, oh gosh, I was getting into high school, and it became such a part of the, of the cultural zeitgeist. It really did. It didn't get the recognition during its initial theatrical run, but uh, since then, it has certainly been elevated to the status of classic, and it is an absolute classic. Office Space, if you haven't seen Office Space, especially if you have ever worked in an office-type setting, a corporate-type setting, it captures just that and like the people and the characters that you would encounter in such a setting just amazingly wonderfully perfectly it's so good so good yeah the movie came out when i was in high school and eesh, you know i i i, I talk to the, there's young people i work with and younger people that of course uh look and read and subscribe to the different things that post online and whatnot and I it was even recently I think it was like this this week I was making office space references that I'm sitting there thinking like oh of course that's in so much part of the zeitgeist it's so much part of the young cool hip reference uh uh you know wheelhouse that basically everyone you know, if they're just like a good, standard, red-blooded American, of course they're going to understand my office space references. Of course they are. And then some of the people that I was working with, some of the younger people, were just like, they were kind of like, huh, well, I don't, uh, what are you talking about? 
<laughs> and then I'm just like, wait, oh, uh, it's it's from this, it's from a movie, and uh, I felt, oh, I felt silly. I felt, I'm like, oh no. And then I started thinking about it. I'm like, yeah, the movie did come out a long time ago. The movie came out like 20 years ago. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, stink snuffles. And I wore an onion on my belt, which was the style at the time. I, I might as well has but yeah, I might as well have been talking about just like, well, you know, you take a nickel to get into the Nickelodeon. <laughs> That's oh thanks for telling us about how things used to be before penicillin, pep pep. Those are some really great stories, Pep Pep. <laughs> oh, no, that happened. That happened to me. <laughs> oh, Pep Pep with, uh, with his oldie time stories. <laughs> Look at them snuffling at each other. Look at those little snuffle bugs. Look at those little snuffle bugs. Those little bugs filled with snuffles. Bugs and snuffles. Oh. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Capturing the roars. It's very nice. Digging it. You don't roar like that. Look at you. You're just peeing in your bed. That's, look at, okay, there's so many places to pee. There's so many places to pee. You literally just walked over to your bed to, to pee. What, why? Why would you do that? It's so strange. I can understand. Okay. I mean, one of the reasons that we put the hay inside like their housing units, so it gives them like a nice kind of warm, cozy place uh, in which to lay for their for their slumber purposes and I can totally understand it's the middle of the night and it's cold outside but it's nice and cozy in the hay den box area and man if I get up if I get up it's gonna be uncomfortable so I might as well just pee right here I can understand that I can look I never said I never actually done it but according to like tiger and lion bylaws that's an appropriate thing to do I get that but that's like in the context of okay you are actually again you're sitting there just spraying <sighs> but it's actually really pleasant it's actually very nice out I'm just I'm wearing a t-shirt it's not cold you're not having to, you're not hunkering down. It's not all blustery and windy, okay? There's not a bunch of, you know, rain and 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 frost-laden gales. Okay, we, we're not having any of that. So there's no reason why you then... Because, again, it's like the P, you have P options. You have a uh, piss potential. <laughs> it's more P It's more P words. <laughs> You have so many areas in your enclosure in which you can festoon, ah, not me, not me, with urine. But you made the conscious decision to walk over to your bed, yes, and pee. Ace, there is something happening over there. Trying to cast. I'm trying to cast. Thank you. Jeez. See that that they're just like like sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's what they're saying now. Sorry. Oh jeez, jeez, oh, I just didn't know he was trying to cast, trying to cast. <gasps> whoopsie doodles. Crows are known for saying whoopsie doodles. That's what they do. Whoopsie doodles! Oh, blow, 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 blow. Oh, blow, blow. Hurra. Hi, beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. Pretty girl. Pretty girl. Okay. Gotta head down and see the bees. Bee bees. Because there's two of them. One bee, two bee. Bee bees. And you gotta watch out, cause they'll sting you with their handsomeness. Cause they're bees. <laughs> ah. No. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi, mister. Hi, Zoobs. Hi, Zooby. How? Like a lion bee cross. That'd be interesting, huh? Oh my gosh. They would just need huge flowers in which to pollinate. Just absolutely ginormous. Uh, uh, Super Nintendo Chalmers. Yep. Another old man reference. No one's at the 4-H club? <laughs> Am I so out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. <laughs> ah, an old reference about having to cope with the fact that, yeah... Your, um, your relevance is, you know, in a way passed you by. That reference in and of itself is old, even though it's actually technically had a rebirth as, like, a meme. Which memes keep those references alive in a lot of ways. Ah, they do. God bless memes. Memes. They first kind of come out like, what's a meme? -me? It's a meme. Me 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 minute 10 second mark and I didn't even wasn't even paying attention I have forgotten how to cast I've totally forgotten how to cast ah oh, I need to just turn in my cast pants just gotta turn them in just gotta get up just, just sorry <laughs> Ooh. yeah whatever pants I'm wearing have their while I'm casting, those are the cast pants. It's kind of like uh, uh, whatever, whatever air. I don't know if how many people know this, but whatever aircraft the the United States president is in automatically becomes Air Force One or whatever the service, Marine One. You know, it depends on like because if they get into those helicopters to you know go to like. Camp David or something like that. But yeah, whatever whatever aircraft, that aircraft then becomes, you know, dot, 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 one. It just so happens that they spend a lot of their official time in, you know, like the plane that everyone just kind of like knows and sees like, oh, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, if you look at the, uh, what's that, uh, uh, the one with the uh, Harrison Ford. 
that uh, movie. The movie where uh, he's uh, trying to save his family. You know, the one where he's trying to save his family. <laughs> it's, that, uh, it's that movie where Harrison Ford and his family, there's an issue with his family and he's trying to save, save his family. You know what's what I'm talking about? Anyway, you can see an example of that, where he's the president, and then he gets off the plane, and then he gets onto another plane, and then they're like, ladies and gentlemen, it's now this one is Air Force One. And then they all cheer. Spoiler alert. Spurler alert. Someone's like, oh, I was halfway through that movie on my Netflix. <laughs> Thanks to that, Derek. <laughs> it's like when that movie come out, like '95. You've had enough time. That movie's called Harrison Ford is the president, and he's looking for his family. That's the, that's the title. All right. This cast is just thoroughly run out of gas. It's just, I, it's, the cast has been gassed. <laughs> uh, you mean the petrol? <laughs> Closed it on another P word. Oh, I kept the theme going. Woo! Kept it going. I didn't forget this time. That's a win for Derek. A win for me. Against myself. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Award down in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for more big cat goodness whenever I get to it. <laughs> and I'll see you folks later. All right. Bye-bye.